Two years ago, I bought my first 3D printer as I was looking for something new to explore outside of my career as a dentist. And since then, I've had the chance to make loads of different projects, each teaching me a little lesson along the way. And in this video, I'm going to share with you five key insights that I've picked up over the last two years. So if you're planning to buy a 3D printer in 2025, or maybe you recently been gifted one over the holidays, this video is for you. So lesson number one is to start small. When you come across a new hobby or interest, it's really easy to go all in, buy the latest and greatest equipment, only to figure out down the line that it wasn't really for you. 3D printing is no exception, and it's really easy to fall into the trap of thinking that you need the most high-end machines just to get started, and that's simply not the case. Nowadays, there are so many great entry-level printers that you can get for a fairly reasonable price, and this allows you to see if this hobby is really for you, before investing in more expensive machines. So for example, at the time of recording, you can pick up a Bamboo Labs A1 Mini for only 169 pounds, which is an absolute bargain. There are some other brands you can check out as well, such as Sovol and Creality, who both sell entry level machines that don't break the bank. The trade off with these machines is that they won't have all of the most up to date high end features, but they are more than enough to get you started with 3D printing. The biggest advantage is that after purchasing one of these machines, if you decide 3D printing isn't for you, you won't feel too bad about spending a relatively small amount of money compared to a more expensive machine. So to summarize, advice number one, start small and test the waters before diving in. Lesson number two is learn the basics and the fundamentals of 3D printing. So once you've got your printer and you've unboxed it, it's a really good idea to spend some time learning the basics of how 3D printing actually works. This includes the software side, for example, your slicers, but more importantly, the hardware side. Now, a lot of modern printers are really good at setting things up for you and calibrating, but irrespective of how advanced your printer is, you're gonna run into challenges with prints, and so the more you know about how printers work, the better equipped you are to solve these problems. So for example, getting to know the different parts of your printer, the extruder, the build plate, the motors, different materials, and knowing when to and when not to use them. And one thing that really trips up a lot of beginners is getting your prints to stick to your plate by making sure you have a clean print surface. All these things sound basic, but they pave the way for you to do cooler and more advanced things with your printer in the future. So learn the basics, and then you've got a good foundation to build your further skills on. And lesson number three, is your printer a tool or is it a project? Once you've gained a bit more experience 3D printing, you can start to get a bit of an idea of where your interests may lie. Broadly speaking, most people with 3D printers fall into one of two categories. You've got the first camp of people who see their printer as a tool and they just want it to work. They want to open the box, plug it in and get printing with minimal maintenance, tinkering or DIYing required. And then on the other hand, you have people who really enjoy going to town with optimizing and modifying their 3D printers. The reason why you want to give this some thought is because once you're ready to graduate from your first printer, you can make a more informed decision about what you're looking for in your next printer. So lesson number three, just decide is your printer a tool or is it a project? Lesson number four, learn CAD. This one is really simple but it is so, so important. Soon after getting your 3D printer and spending time printing other people's models, you're gonna get to the point where you want to express your own creativity a little bit more and push the boundaries of what your printer can do. The ability to think up of a design, make it in a CAD software, and actually print your own design that's where the magic of 3D printing actually is. The good news is that CAD has become easier to learn and there are so many tutorials and resources online to guide you. Personally, I use Autodesk Fusion and I'll leave some links to some really useful tutorials in the description. There are other options you can go for and there's no right or wrong. For example, you've got Tinkercad, FreeCAD, and on shape, just to name a few. My recommendation would be to try all of them and see which software fits your style and your workflow. But regardless of which software you use, just learn CAD. You'll thank me later. And finally, lesson number five, go wide and then go deep. So 3D printing is a vast field. 
in and of itself and there are also some other skills and disciplines that tie in really well into it. So for example, you've got electronics and how they tie into 3D printing, modifying and tinkering with your printer, artistic sculptures, cosplaying, the list goes on and on. Eventually, you might find a really specific part of the field that interests you and then you can go deep into that. Try lots of different things first and eventually you'll land on one part that really, really lights your fire. So the final lesson, go wide and then go deep. Right guys, that's going to do it for this video. There's just a few thoughts that I had floating around in my mind that I wanted to share as we head into 2025. So I hope you found some value in this. If you enjoyed this video, then you may also enjoy my other video where I show how to make PCBs at home using a CNC machine. So be sure to check that out. Otherwise, I want to wish everybody a happy new year and I'll see you all in the next video.